Hi guys, um, welcome to the weekly vlog, the start of the week, we, uh, weekly vlog. I'm not sure what number it is because I'm about to start editing now. <coughs> I'm still like not completely well, um, my voice is, I can hear it myself, um, sometimes it just goes and then it's not. <laughs> totally itself. I was up literally all night near enough last night like up and down coughing um, So it's really rubbish so far today <coughs> We woke up me and Ebony woke up really late. She didn't wake me up till quite late But um, since then I've done loads of jobs um, Give me a moment trying to type and speak is not happening because it's taking most of my energy to try and concentrate today which is really irritating but yes um, as I was saying I'm still ill my voice is a pain this morning we um, got up at like 10 um, I did jobs, um, em like empty the dishwasher, vacuumed up, um, did some washing. Um, last night I tidied through Ebony's toys and got rid of, uh, of about a fifth, maybe, of some of her stuff. Um, and what else? Um, I think I said vacuuming. I don't know. Washing up. Did Ebby's lunch and put her to bed, got a shower um, and washed my hair and then <coughs> yeah did the washing there, I've, I've not put mine away, I'm probably putting it away this evening because I really need to edit because it's going to be a huge vlog as I put two together um, but I'd rather have done it that way. Um, marching ghost adventures. What Ebony sleeps. Oh yes, and it's the week of her birthday. So there'll be not tons happening this week, but there will be a good amount. Um, and yeah, hopefully it'll be a good week after the last couple of weeks. Is it your birthday today? Are you do. Hey. Hello, birthday girl. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Stay to your room again. Should we go, go downstairs? Today has been Ebony's second birthday. Um, I didn't film in the day, really, um, because one, we had a really chill day like till after just after her nap and then after that um we picked my niece up from school I mean, we were going to get my nephew as well but he was off sick um so he couldn't come and then we just went for a meal um at a little cafe and um, then we went for a quick walk down the prom. Not very long at all. Um, God, what else? My brain's like mush today. I'll explain all that in a couple of minutes. I'm just turning the fan on because it's super warm in here. Um, and then we went back to my sister's. We opened presents there. I'll show you all the presents of that tomorrow. We opened presents there. Um, and then they had a bit of cake, brought everybody back home so she could see my dad um, open presents all together, like the presents I got her and the presents my parents got her um, and all that kind of stuff. And then um, my friend came around for a bit, 
Oh, my child and tired. God, I'm literally so dead today. Um, and then I put Abby to bed, and I am now here. <sighs> so basically, obviously, the last few days, if you watched last week's vlog, I th I'm pretty sure I said that I've just not been feeling well. And since yesterday, it's just like, are you kidding me? I really do not feel myself, and it's so horrible. So I've pushed through the day. Um, once we'd had a walk down like the pram earlier after she had a really early tea, I hit like that's uh, it got to that stage where it felt like I could I hit a wall because my nose started running really badly. I felt really drained. I just felt horrid. Um, last night I was up and down a lot of the night because my nose was blocked. Couldn't breathe properly. Um, and it wasn't very fun. <coughs> I managed to pick myself back up, had some soup, chicken as we'd gone soup just before, and a brew. Um, watched EastEnders, and it's now half ten, and I've literally hit that point again. Um, I hit that point about ten, but I was making my brew and getting ready to come upstairs, but I've hit that point where my head feels like it's li like turning into liquid li liquid liquefying liquid liquefying I don't know like I literally cannot process anything right now um my nose is horrible I do still have a bit of a cough um and my voice still sounds really kind of like horrid or I can hear it, I don't know if it does to other people, but I can feel it a bit. It's not what it normally is. Um, it's like my eyes do not want to stay open. And my back just feels like it wants to give way, and I just feel really weak and horrid. And it's so irritating. I managed to keep it at bay though all day. Um, so this morning we were going to go and see... Um, our friends that live around the corner from us um but we wouldn't have had much time which is why there's about batteries flashing so i can't be long i realized that we didn't have as much time as i thought we would have had um so we couldn't for that reason and also um i'm kind of glad we didn't because i got to chill and not wear myself out too much more um and also like towards more lunch time ish um I, I I kept asking Ebony when she wanted to go to bed and she will generally um since being ill and even a bit before that really she's she generally is quite good for telling me if she's tired and wants to go for a nap um she's not really too funny about it anymore unless she's really off or just on a terrible day um and I asked her if she wanted to go for a nap and she said no and I said do you want to oh what did I say I said something along the lines of do you want to um, spend time with mummy for a bit longer and she said yes and that did melt my heart a little bit because it's really nice knowing that she wanted to spend that time with me um, so I just didn't really film and also it was really nice I was in a really good mood um, and the weather definitely helped with that um, as most of you know autumn's definitely like one of my favourite seasons um, but it was that kind of autumn autumnal weather where it was cool outside um, so it was still nice and crisp and not too warm but um, and, like cool enough for us to have, still have a fire lit and it was also really sunny but not like this type of summer sunny, the autumnal sunny where everything kind of just illuminates in the oranges and gold and browns and all the prettiness that autumn brings and it just made my heart melt with happiness um, so it was really good but yes I took my makeup off, I did have my makeup on, I did really basic like no bronze or nothing, just foundation, eyes, eyebrows, because I think that's just going to be 
but I do at the minute. I really like that look and yeah. <sighs> but yes, I'm going to stop rambling. I'm going to try and stay awake to watch some music videos. I don't think it, not music videos. I've got to say this is what I mean by my brain isn't working. YouTube videos. Um, and then I'm going to try and sleep because not a good day. Well, good day, but for feeling ill, not good. Definitely not good. So, let's pray I actually get a good amount of sleep without having to constantly wake up with a horrible blocked nose. So, um, Ebony has been napping. She's just starting to wake up and stir. So I thought, just before she comes down, I'll show you what she got for her birthday. I'm going to try and make sure I show everything. Um, because it's a bit difficult um, keeping track. Um, so the first thing, I'll show you when I put it up again at some point. Um, I think I said a lot that at some point I got her a little silver cross toy doll pram. Because um, nursery said that she loves playing dolls with uh, and babies with her friends at uh, nursery. Um, so she got that um, from me. And then from my parents, um, she got, I'm trying to remember exactly everything, yes, I remember, she got this Elsa and Anna bag, um, it's meant to light up but the batteries in it are gone I think, and we think that's why they're not working, so we need to change that at some point. She also got these little boots that we got I think from Sainsbury's? Have a look. Oh no, Asda. These little winter boots and they're the cutest thing. She's size five at the minute. But I think by the time she's in size six she'll definitely she'll be able to get some use out of these. Um and they're just the cutest little things. I absolutely love them. Um I chose them out when I was with my mum. Um and then she also got this from her parents, the Peppers Pumpkin Party. Um she loves Peppa Pig and it's Halloween. Uh, related and also her birthday is around Halloween so I had to get her that and from my sister she got this special book I know that it wasn't cheap at all but this special book with her name on The Wondrous World of Ebony I've not read it yet um, the words are by Sarah Khan and I'm sure I've heard of her before I think it might have been yesterday even um, I may be very wrong here but I watched Zoella's new book club um, pics, uh, the video she uploaded for it, and I'm sure she mentioned Sarah Khan, I'm not sure, but we've not read it, but the blurb says, it's the story of a girl who goes on a quest to find out what makes her special and, discover and discovers along the way an enchanting world of magic and new friendships, and she absolutely loved that, because um, she just loves any book, but I'm trying to keep that safe, as it's not cheap and also it's a really nice one. Then from a friend Ellen, she's at uni, so she got this when she was last here and I wrapped it up and gave it to Ebony for her. Oh yeah, for also I forgot what else she also got this from her sister too. A little Peppa Pig doctor's kit, which she absolutely loves and she is constantly playing with. Then she got a little Bing that speaks. Hi, I'm Bing. And I'm she Johnny. absolutely loves it. Because she loves Bing. I also got her this literally like huge life size My Little Pony. It is massive like in comparison to me I'm nearly up right now that's the My Little Pony it's ridiculous <laughs> and then from um, her godfather and his parents she got a little the Very Hungry Caterpillar book and Teddy and she thought it was brilliant um, that's another book that I can read to her at bedtime a nice new one then from my um, auntie and uncle that live um, further afield that we don't see much got a little puppy toy which this reminds me um, I don't know if any of you will remember these but the Nintendo puppy toys that uh, you could get that um, made noises if you press the belly it makes the same noise so it reminds me of that because I remember having the Dalmatian one so this is the noise it makes if I can press it And that's the noise. I'm pretty pretty damn sure that's the noise that my Nintendo made. I swear. 
Um, she got money from some relatives as well. Um, she got a little fleece from her grandma. I'm not sure where that is at the moment. And then I've just received this from my friend Anna, who is also at uni and I don't get to see her much. A little Elsa dress, and it's the most beautiful Elsa dress. I'm going to struggle showing you this, but it's got little arms. It's got a really long trail at the back, and it's just so amazing such amazing quality as well and it's got little gloves with it a little tiara which is cute a little wand which i'm sure she'll absolutely adore and a hair bit which probably will go in her hair because she's got such thin hair she's got quite thick hair but for that to stay in it just probably what happened um i think that's all she got I don't know what she's got from a nanny or anything. She's going there soon. I'm going to get her up and start getting her ready because she's going in like an hour and a bit. Um, but so far, that's what she's got. There's a few people she's still not seen. Um, but she is definitely very lucky and has gotten lots of nice things. I try not to let her be given too much because... She does get really overwhelmed really easily with it. And when she does, she then starts acting out. So we try to refrain from that. Um, while she's had a shower, uh, while she's been asleep, I've had a shower. I'm feeling a little bit better today, but still not very well. I'm just pushing through. And then when she is at her nanny's, I can get tea cooked, tidy up. I'm probably going to go to my room, do um, tiny bits of my room whilst I'm watching some ghost adventures. Um, let's now go, I'll take you with me while I go and get Abby. But yeah, she's still in her pyjamas. Um, I'm going to be getting dressed in a moment. Picking out what she's going to put on today. Um, but she's had a really chilled morning the last couple of days. Because when it's your birthday, it's just got to be done sometimes. And she loves chilling in her pyjamas. Hello, little lady. You have a nice sleep. She opened the blind. Oh. Oh. A bit bright. <coughs> you had a nice nap. Bye bye. Say yes, mummy. Mummy's tired. Oh, what a surprise. Your good naps. <laughs> See that's why we'll get you ready to go to nanny soon. Uh. Mm. It's my feelings too about the day. Uh. Don't worry, I'm in that kind of mood too. Uh -huh. Right. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. You're very cute. So it is Wednesday. Hiya! Um, putting little lady to bed. We're getting her ready for bed. Yeah. It's eight. Trying to get her bedtime routine back because recently it's been suffering. And from that, I have been suffering. So I don't fancy that anymore. And I'm not letting her get away with mischief. And the problem is, this little crazy urchin is giddy at this time of night she's calmed down a bit now but from somewhere she's learned to pretend or to try and pick her nose and it's disgusting hey it's a doggy sorry that prop, prop shot was probably completely off should we get onto her should we get you onto your mat yeah come on here's yeah, it's a chair, but it's bedtime, please. Yeah. Mummy's yeah. tired. Yeah. <laughs> Just want to go to bed, please. Stop telling me to shh. Yeah. If the people are sleeping in the chair, you should sleep. Sorry. You sorry? Okay. Come on then. Let's get you ready for bed, I think. Get off the remote, Missy Moo.
Are you having fun dancing then? Were you going dance dance? Papa! No. Papa! 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 Is it nap time soon? Nap time soon? Ebony? Ebony? Monkey? You're not at me. <coughs> curly locks. Little Miss Curly locks. No, you ignoring mummy. That's a bit rude. I meant to ignore mummy. And I'm trying to actually get you in the vlog. <laughs> You're dribbling down yourself. Well, show me your top. Let's say mummy's girl. <laughs> what are you doing? What? Thank you. You're not going to go sleepies then. Bye bye. As we've been up since pretty early. Yeah. Yeah. No, little Miss Square Eyes, aren't you? You dance dancing? Nice little dancing. You dance dance? <laughs> dance dance? Wah! <laughs> Rah! You dancing? <laughs> Are you singing instead? <laughs> You're funny. Do you know that? Move in. Attached to the telly, and I do have Christmas socks on at the minute. I'm disgusting socks because I've not gotten a new one yet. No, you're not going to pay attention or do anything interesting for the camera. Not going to do anything interesting for the vlog. You're boring. So Carrot and me, she's a rabbit, isn't she? Let's pause that a minute. Rabbit. Carrot. That's right. Ah! Oh no, a scary vampire. Come on, you watch Vampire Diaries with me. It's not that scary. It's a super fun. Mummy pig. No, we are that's what elephants say. Where's the ghosty? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Pepper's a witch. Oh, oh, oh. Is she lying? What? She's a papa, papa. George Dancer. Yeah. Yeah. We do it. Oh no. Madame Gazelle doesn't have a reflection. Does that mean she's a real life vampire? Ooh. That is a balloon. Boo. Balloon. Balloon. Boo. Balloon. It is a balloon. Ghosty. 
Oh. Well, that had an interesting timing of when we're reading a creepy book. Well, not actually that creepy, realistically. Um, should we carry on reading? Look, tell me what, tell mommy, oh, tell mommy what there is. They're biscuits, they're not crackers, baby. They're not crackers, drop a cracker. Well, you take your book then, should we get you a cracker? Yeah, I just had to pick up my camera and film that because it was the cutest thing. Um, I've not really taught her much. She knows what Halloween is just from knowing what Halloween is. Um, and, alright, okay, okay, and, um, I've not really taught her the whole idea that it's scary or you're meant to, like, could be a little bit scared even if you just pretend to be scared. Uh, well, you should pretend to be scared, you should actually let her be scared. Um, and she's also been, like, picking up now on animals, like, when she sees them, the elephant, she goes, ooh, and tries to make her elephant noise. Um, put it back and um, like when she sees Danny Dog she, she makes a barking sound it's just very very cute and when she kept seeing the ghost she kept going ah and the same with the vampires and it's just adorable um, and I don't sit, let her sit and watch fully vampire like fully watch Vampire Diaries with me but sometimes when she's watching telly in the front room I'll come into the back room and catch up on YouTube videos or watch <coughs> things on Netflix etc and she'll sometimes come in um, and she knows about, it's about vampires, Mummy's Mommy, told her it's about vampires um, but she can't watch it until she's older because it, it's, a little, it's for bigger people, it might be a bit scary for her but it's not real so she, she's not stupid, she knows this kind of thing like she's quite intelligent for her age so I just had to film that. This cup's falling down. It's brilliant. Um, what the fuck was that? Okay. Did not plan on any of this, but there's some really creepy things starting to happen. Um, basically, so um, <laughs> my sister watches has Sky and watches the new Ghost Adventures when they come out on her. Thing. So they come out much like a long time before I get a chance to see them with having free view. So they record them and they've started doing it where when they get an episode or a couple built up I'll give them, um, if it's okay, I will give them my USB and they'll put them on for me. And the first four are incredibly intense and since that I have noticed really creepy things start to happen, like you just witnessed there, like that literally had nothing to do with me, Mommy. the cupboard opened, it was Mommy. locked and it opened, Ebby, oh, no, no. Um, and then the phone went off on its own, the phone beeped on its own, and for it to beep, you, um, I've, we've had these phones that long, um, and we've left them off the hook many times, and it never ever beeps without one of the buttons being pressed, not like that. Um, so that was incredibly strange and yeah it's just a bit weird and I don't know what to make of it but I've got to say I do love Halloween nonetheless I love Halloween um, I'm going to end the vlog it's probably really short and a little bit mashed together um, it's Monday at the moment so the next vlog that you watch will be the Halloween week vlog I'm not incredibly sure what's happening this week. Not got huge plans, I don't think, apart from Halloween, of course. But you shall have to watch the next vlog and see. So I'm going to go finish watching um, the videos I need to catch up on and then edit. Hope you enjoyed the weekly vlog and I will see you guys next week.